Welcome to another video guys. So today I am at the Golden Triangle in Changxian. I am really excited to be here. This is probably one of the coolest places I've ever been at. The Golden Triangle is basically like the border between Thailand, Laos, and Myanmar. So when you guys go there, you can see into both countries. So you guys can see that just before the river, there's all these different Buddha statues. Welcome to Ak. You can see they've got different countries that they list. And then they've got the big golden Buddha right there. You can see it. When you go over here, there's an elephant. And yeah. Coming up over here, there's a river that splits it. I believe you can take a boat and you can go right into the middle. It's pretty cool. Alright guys, so this is the Golden Triangle area. So this river divides the countries. Over here where I'm at is Thailand. Thailand is this way. This way is Lao. You can look over there, those mountains are in Lao. And then if you look over there, you can see where there's a split in the river. Over there, those mountains are in Myanmar. I guess if you want to go to another country, you could swim the river and try to cross the border, but I don't recommend it. But yeah, this river divides the three different countries, which is pretty fascinating. All right, guys, you can see over here, that's the Golden Triangle. So you can see how it's divided. There's the Ruok River, which splits Thailand from Myanmar. The Mekong River splits Myanmar from Lao. And then, of course, they meet in the middle. And that's what splits Thailand from Lao once they join up down there. So coming down here, there's the big boat and the small boat. The big boat is 800 baht to rent and the small boat is 500 baht. Since it's just me and her, well, we're doing 500. No need for the big boat. All right guys, so I'm here with Neen. We're in a boat. We are headed off to the Golden Triangle, so I am really, really excited about this. 500 baht for a little boat, that's really not bad at all. That's only like $15. And I believe we get to go there and back, which is even sweeter. So look guys, I'm technically no longer in Thailand, we're in the water.
Alright guys, so if you see that casino, that is in Myanmar. Over there is China. Wow, so China is over there. I don't think you can quite see into China. Maybe one of those far off clouds is in China. Lao is that way. So yeah, Lao that way, Myanmar that way, and I believe Thailand is back there. So this is really the closest I've been to either one of those countries. I could probably swim the river if I had to, and maybe get into Myanmar or Laos without a passport. Maybe. I wouldn't try it though. All right guys, if you look over there, that's Lao. You guys can see some of those buildings. It looks like they've got a lot of Chinese over there. Oh, look at that, they've got three languages. They've got Lao, they've got Chinese. I'm not sure what the other one is, maybe Thai? Thinking about it, is that sign in Lao or Thai? That sign? Lao or Thai? Lao? Oh, nice. I believe that is the Golden Triangle Economic Zone. Oh, you can even see a sign up there that says, Welcome to Lao. Oh, look at that golden building. I wonder what that's called. Well, I gotta say, the boat ride was a lot of fun. It was just fascinating being right in the middle of three different countries. You get to see into each of them. And now I'm just about done. I think I gotta pay the guy. Oh wait. Alright guys, so here I am at Sriwan Coffee and Restaurant Golden Triangle. So this is a restaurant right alongside the river of the Golden Triangle. You can see Myanmar over there, there's Lao. And then this right here is the restaurant, like right alongside the street. They got different things on the menu, like different drinks. They got a breakfast, they got french fries. I'm probably gonna get seafood over here. I think that's what sounds good to me. You can see lots of things. It's a little bit pricey, but it's all right. I'm having a good time. Look at that guys, a nice watermelon smoothie that I can have. You wanna get a little video here? You can just hold it. All right guys, so here I am with my smoothie. Let me try this. Wow, the watermelon tastes unbelievable. I think they add sugar to it. It is sweet, it's really good though. It's amazing. All right guys, look at those fried serpent fish. You can see they give it to us, and then there's like uh, some kind of chili lime sauce that you dip them in. This should be really, really good. All right guys, so over here, I guess I've got, we've got these whole fish. I don't think I've ever eaten a fish like this, but we've got this sauce, you can dip it in. We're gonna dip this, and then we can eat. Be warned, it is spicy. This is cool that you can just eat the whole fish along with the bones. But just be careful of the spice. 
Mm. That is so good. So, so good, guys. I don't think I need a little sip of my watermelon shake. Here's a bigger one. Let's try this. All right, guys, now look at this. They've got stir fry, they've got fried fish and a red curry sauce. I gotta try a little bit of this. I'm gonna take a couple of these. Is it still going? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it's good. So this is in a red curry, so this should be pretty good. I'm just gonna take a little bite of the fish. It is good, but it is a little bit spicy, just be warned of that. It's not bad though. So let me try a little bit of white rice mixed in with it. I think this should be good. We'll get some of that white rice. Bring it over here. Then we can maybe cut a little bit of the fish and eat it with our white rice. Let's try that. The rice goes heavenly with it.